6-4 and welcome back to another edition of Thursday Night Football as we look to end the season 16-0 against the Falcons. Last week, we beat Tampa Bay. This week, we're going to buy out. Last week, we won 28-0. Okay, good. This week, I was right actually from last week. In this episode, we're going to be showing the new player pack. We're going to buy the all-pro pack against four gold or better players. So let's see who we got. Parker Eihinger, Brandon Marshall, Tramon Williams, Vincent Brown, Jermon Bouchrod, Daniel Heron, Benning Cunningham, and Jonathan Babineau. Our team is now 64 overall, 66, 62, 64. Not bad at all. So let's try and end the season 16-0 with a new team. And we end the season with a winning coin toss. I love it. That's great. I still think we finished under 500 though on the season on the coin tosses. <laughs> so here we go, the Georgia Dome or whatever it's called. I think it's the Georgia Dome. But the Falcons will get to start here as Weems gets it and let's see what he does with it. Taken down before the 20. Great start for Atlanta. <laughs> Ryan to Freeman gained about a yard, maybe two, but I believe it's just a gain of one. Indeed, just a gain of one. Ryan throwing. That ball is once again in a mad scramble as no one can get it. And it falls between the, literally the Saints defensive unit as no one for some reason could catch it. So third and nine now after killing about 20 seconds there. <laughs> and Sanu will make the catch but it won't be good enough for the first down so it'll now be fourth down. I believe fourth and one. Yeah, fourth and one. Falcon's not even going to kill some clock. Williams though will be our new... Actually no, I think he was... No, it was Burson before I think, right? It may have been Williams. Anyways, here we go. Still got Williams, though, as a runner. And Heineke... Is, or no, we're actually having Heron now running. And he is gone. Like, literally, he just, like, blew past everyone. It's a touchdown right away. Like, damn. <laughs> he he booked it. Uh, do we, do we still have Barth, though, as kicking. Williams, though, I believe, is still on our team. And we still have Heineke as our quarterback. But I believe, I guess, there is no more Burson. I believe Burson may have been replaced with Williams. I guess that's probably how it works. I don't know, I didn't actually look at the team. Anyways, Weems makes the catch. We'll gain quite a bit there, though, almost getting to the 30. So first and 10. Ryan. Looking for an open man as he just chucks it downfield as it's intercepted by Grant. He found an open man, but it wasn't the man he was hoping for. That'll do it for the first quarter with the Saints up a touchdown. Saints going for the pass here. Heineke looking for an open man. There's no more Long. Long has been replaced by Brown. But he will do just as Long would and make the catch. So we faked the run to Williams, Heron got it, and was just smacked for a loss of four. And Heron will get thrown down again, a loss of about another yard, it'll be third and fifteen. Well screw this, we're passing it, we'll look for Bolser without getting murdered, first down, touchdown. It's a first down, touchdown, thirteen nothing, by Bolser making the catch from Heineke. Here's the kick. Kick is good. Make that 14 to nothing. With 31 seconds left. Here's the kick by Barth. Weems makes the catch. What a move by Weems, but take him down at around the 27.
Let's see what Atlanta does this time. Back to the pass. Ryan looking for an open man. It's popped up volleyball style. And hey, Franklin makes the catch. He is at the 10 at the end zone. Touchdown. As ladies and gentlemen, that was Franklin. And he just booked it. He said, hey, caught that volleyball and just booked it downfield because he's like, this ain't a football, I need to get a new ball. Anyways, Barth does make the kick. It's 21 to nothing. We're not even at the half yet, but the Saints are well on their way to that perfect season at 16 and 0. Seven seconds here. Let's see what Atlanta does here. Ryan, he's going to go to Freeman for the run. There goes Freeman. Freeman's running. Got the first down. Nearly made it to the 40. If Babineau wasn't there, would have easily been a... Probably could have easily ran. At least I think it was Babineau who stopped him. <laughs> Anyways, Ryan is going to chuck the ball into the garbage so he doesn't get murdered. And it'll now be the start of the third quarter with the Saints getting the ball. So let's see if it'll be Williams... Or if it'll be Burson, who gets the ball? It will be Cunningham, actually. Oh, wow. So neither Williams nor Burson, but rather Cunningham. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but okay. So Saints going to the run here. Here goes Heron. Let's see what he can do. Gets Almost makes it to the first down, but gets checked just prior. Second and one. But, oh, okay, I, was, I thought we were going for a run. We're going to look for Marshall, though. Marshall makes the catch. Taken down, I believe, at the 20. Okay, just before the 20. Taken down at around the 21, 22. But here goes Heron. Heron's all alone. Heron's got a free lane. Heron's got a touchdown. Second of the night for Heron. And already the pro pack is paying dividends. Kick by Barth is good and it's 28 nothing now. They, unfortunately there's no mercy kill or mercy rule so Atlanta's just gonna have to tough it out here. Weems will make the catch. We'll get to the 20. I'm gonna say they're gonna start around the 24. Just before the 25 is where they're going to start. They're going for a run. It's Freeman. Freeman's going. He's booking it. He's saying, screw you all. But Alexander is there to stop him before he breaks loose. Falcons going with another run. Here goes Freeman. He's got the first. He's going to run. He is all alone. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. As Freeman does a little jig, a little dance, celebrating the touchdown. And the Falcons are just going to go for a regular extra point here, not doing anything crazy. The kick is good, and it'll be 28-7. to So three more touchdowns and extra point conversions are what the Falcons still require. they got 73 seconds to do it. It is, it is doable. I mean, anything is possible. It's not likely, but it is possible. So Cunningham will run, and will be taken down at around the 27-28 yard line. Here goes Heron once again. There goes Heron at the 40, at the 30, at the 20, at the 10, at the... No, never mind. We're gonna kill the clock as we just stop at the 5. Oh boy. Heron can't even make it to the end zone there. Second down. He'll make it this time. Touchdown, New Orleans. And kick is good. So for those of you wondering what my logic was there, the reason I stopped at the 5 was because I looked at the times like, oh, there's four zeros. If we just get the first down, I'm sure we can score, and that way we can kill some clock in the fourth. At least I think that's what my, my methodology was there. Ryan 
Passing, Sanu catching. Gain of five, second and five, Ryan intercepted by Grant. Who will just step out of bounds with 33 seconds left. As the Saints are slowly killing the clock, Heron is going to run all the way to the side and he's going to step out of bounds with the ones. We can kill even more time. And now we're going for the quarterback, Neil. All right, that should be, what, third down? So we should be good now. Once the clock hits 20, we can just do one more quarterback kneel and end the regular season off there. All right, and that should do it unless Atlanta, oh, Atlanta decides they want to call their timeout. Great. Okay, well, we're going for a running play here, so here we go. Screw everything, let's try and kill some time. La ti da ti da ti da 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 And now screw you all, let's go. We're booking it. We are literally booking it. Oh my goodness, Heron with the ridiculous touchdown. We like ran all the way to our own end. Then we made a U-turn and we just said screw you all. That was great. That was that was marvelous right there. That was Trey Magnifique. Barth for the cherry on top. 42 to 7 the final. And ladies and gentlemen, the Saints have just ended the season 16 and 0, becoming only the second team to do that and will enter the postseason I'm hoping is the number 1 seed. Congratulations, we made the playoffs. Woohoo. No, oh, I see Tampa. So, next time on Thursday Night Football, we take on division rivals Tampa Bay in the NFC Divisional Series. In the NFC Conference Championships, though, we're going to be taking on Green Bay, but first we have to get by Tampa. Until then, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And so long for now. Goodbye, folks.